hi guys hope you're all fine welcome to my kitchen by nana and i would also want to uh, welcome all the new subscribers to my kitchen by nana so i've been here wondering how you people cook your peas so i decided to share a recipe and how i cook dry peas so these are dry green peas which i got from the grocery store you can get them from any market or a grocery store or even a supermarket so what i do is to first wash them and then boil them until they are cooked and very soft the dry peas can take about one and a half to two hours to cook but in case you're using a pressure cooker they will take about 40 minutes to get ready but make sure they're very cooked and very soft you have to like to actually get them from the pan and you squeeze them to see that they are very soft and cooked i'm emphasizing about cooking them until they're very soft because uh the softer the peas the better the soup and the better your sauce the sauce will be tastier if they are really cooked. So in a different pan, which I've placed on a source of heat, I've just added some vegetable oil. I'm going to be frying our onions and I'm going to fry them until we get that nice aroma from them and until the onions start to change some color. And then I'll be adding our green capsicum and then fry it for some time, about a, a minute or so then add the tomato paste for the tomato paste i'm going to fry it for some time until it changes some color and loses uh, that sweetness that it has just give it time to cook for about two minutes just let it cook and then i'll be adding the rest of the vegetables that is the carrots and then the tomatoes In case the type of green peas that you have takes a very long time to cook, what you can do is to just soak them overnight and then cook them the next day. Uh, or you can use a pressure cooker because it takes a very short time to cook. And for fresh peas, you can as well just use the same recipe. So now I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the vegetables that I'm cooking. This is a beef cube, no beef cube, which I'm smashing into the ingredients and smash it if you feel like. If you don't want, just add it to melt. Then some marico powder, which is basically common in my country. Uh, that is ginger powder, which I've just added and some turmeric powder and then some garlic powder some coriander black pepper and i'll also be adding some salt in case you want to like add any ingredient to your soup feel free just add anything like that bay leaves are okay you can also add basil if you have it yeah anything that is spicy is good for peas So now I'm going to be adding the peas, the vegetables, as you can see, the vegetables are cooked, very soft. The peas are also very soft. So I'm just going to add everything together and give it a very nice mix. And I'll let them cook shortly together before adding in any water. You don't have to add fresh water to the peas because you won't have that nice taste. What you do, the water you use to boil the peas, you just set it aside and it is what you use to make the soup so that it comes out very nice, tasty and with that taste of these legumes. So I'm just going to let it boil on high heat for about 10 minutes and then I'll reduce the heat. Like I always say, soups that boil on low heat always taste better than soups that cook on high heat in case you haven't yet subscribed to my kitchen by nana and you would like to subscribe hit the subscribe button it's down below in red also hit the notification bell to notify you whenever i do upload 
uh, don't forget to leave your comments in case you have any i welcome comments and i also leave some links in the description box yeah you can check them out of different food recipes like how to cook dry beans and other things don't forget to check it out so what you're seeing is what i'm going to have my peas with this is posho uh we make it from uh dry maize flour you can also call it ugali that's what they call it in swahili uh it's a very nice food type it's a very nice energy giving food and it's very nice with beans it's very nice with peas and with vegetables cooking it is a very easy process what you need is just boiling water and the kosher in case you have butter you can just add for more flavor but in case you don't have just boil it with hot water hot boiling water just mingle the posho until it is really cooked how you know that posho is cooked is uh it won't stick on the mingling stick and it won't stick on the pan so you have to just mingle it and then cover with something shortly and then keep on mingling until it is finely cooked I also love my peas with Brody. boiled rice and sweet potatoes. It's very nice, that combination. Boiled rice, sweet potatoes and peas. Very nice. So in case you've liked the video, don't forget to click the like button. I've enjoyed cooking with you today. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you here next time. Have a lovely day.